Scientists from Murmansk were inspired by Mold and conceptualized the new model of nanomachines. Today, the Murmansk Patent Office received the new invention, nanomachines, and not simple ones. They were inspired by Mold. There were similar cases in scientific practice. Scientists often look up to nature for ideas to improve existing inventions or create new ones. It is called biomimicry. And indeed, it is a wise decision, because the human mind is still far from the genius of nature verified by million years of natural selection. But perhaps for the first time nature helped us with such complex mechanism. So how exactly did the inhabitants of your stale bread help robotics? Previously, scientists were trying to create a set of microscopic robots that operate separately from each other. A much more convenient option turned out to be the imitation of mold hyphae, growing filamentous formations. They do not have septums, which makes it convenient to transfer microscopic fuel elements from one lock area to another, up or down. Connecting into such a mushroom skyscraper, they do not lose their mobility, because the hyphae are able to branch actively. The new technology will also be able to provide autonomous assembly of nanomachines without direct human intervention. From thicker filaments of mold, sporangiophores rise up ending in sporangia, that is, sacs in which many spores ripen. The same will happen with the nano hyphae. Mechanical analog of sporangia will become a miniature workshop for assembly nanomachines from available resources. A new model has caused controversy in scientific community. Opponents of the development believe that we are approaching the possibility of grey goo emergence, consisting of nanobots which can absorb the Earth. But our scientists assure that such outcome is possible in science fiction only. People always find danger in new technologies, but we think another way. New technologies lead to evolution of mankind. Hmm. Although you never know what can happen. Oops! I shouldn't have said that. Researchers from MSTU hinted that it is only the beginning, because the hyphae are able to intertwine. Perhaps very soon we will witness a real revolution in the field of nanomaterials. <laughs>